Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a love reading for you for March going into April. So March, all of March going into early April. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue. These cards just fell out. Please continue to do so. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Okay, so Cancer, it looks like some of you are um, you're doing something in secret. You're getting rid of something or somebody or some, I don't know something in secret you're, because it, it, it affects your future. It's like you're trying to make futuristic plans, better plans for yourself. Almost as if you're leaving behind a partnership, something that you were doing, something that you thought would grow into um, a firm foundation, but it just didn't or it isn't. And some of you are leaving something in secret. Some of you want, are wanting to take the next step in a particular relationship, business, job, whatever it may be. Let's see, these cards just fell out. Yeah, you've got a lot going on, but you want to do what you know is right and what you feel is right. And you're desiring for something more meaningful and to have some growth in your life so you may be walking towards something or someone else and leaving another leaving another option it could be a job a person it could be anybody anything okay all right so cancer <clears throat> let's see what's going on for you in love whoever you you have come to this reading for let's see how you feel about them okay the cancer it's feelings for okay uh, okay wow it, i mean i tried to put it back in the deck wouldn't even go back in the deck king of water so some of you feel very loving energy for this other person whomever it may be your heart is open to them you just want you feel like they're very trustworthy and they give good advice or you give them good advice it, it could be mutual um you aren't letting on to exactly how you feel about them they know that you have likeness for them or maybe even love for them but this is the 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 master manipulator of emotions now he or she can manipulate for the good or for the bad i think this is just you cancer holding back being that crab like energy n not releasing yourself fully out of your shell but you really like this person some of you may need to get rid of exes this is the king that likes to keep exes around maybe at arm's length not even that you're doing anything bad or outside of what you should be doing with these these ex uh love partners or whatever boyfriend girlfriend it's not that you're doing anything bad but you like to keep them around to feed the ego you know uh so you might need to think about you know uh releasing that releasing these people you know especially if you want to get serious with a particular person okay the person that you could want to get serious with could be cancer pisces scorpio um <clears throat> you're very emotionally balanced like you know when to draw from what emotion this emotion or that emotion you know in in, in every in every uh situation in every aspect you know you know when to draw on anger or our humor you're just good because you're emotionally balanced here okay um let's see else how else you feel about them wow ten of ours do you feel like this could be either a long-term partner you feel like you get a lot of recognition with this person or you will you feel like in meeting this person this is one of uh you know how we have a checklist of what we want to do for our life or in our life 
you feel like meeting this person this is one of your long-term goals being fulfilled you feel like you could have a family um uh, a home you feel like this is like a life partner this is not somebody that you know it's not a fly by night thing for you cancer you don't feel that way um you feel like you could just have a really happy life with this person okay how how else does cancer feel about the person that of interest wow queen of earth so cancer you feel like this is a very nurturing down to earth stable individual um stable in almost every aspect yeah every aspect she cares about her family she cares about her children she cares about her home she cares about herself this is a person who cares about what they eat how their body looks they, they take care of themselves this could be a person who does earth magic or you feel like this could be an earth angel and uh, they could have earth in their chart capricorn virgo taurus you feel like sometimes they need to make time for other things you feel like maybe um you just feel like they're very grounded how they deal with any opposition any challenge is very practical and logical like you just feel like you could never really be at odds with this person because they're so grounded like they won't even allow the let's say the predicament or the situation to like turn into anything other than you know you guys talking it out or laughing it off this is a very balanced energy for you uh cancer one more card for how cancer feels about this person how does cancer feel about this person wow the two of earth you feel like they have a lot going on you have a lot going on you feel like you need to make a decision about uh what you guys are building towards or what you're doing you feel like um you kind of juggling this love affair um you want to make sure that it's feasible for the both of you maybe that you guys are on the both the same page in regards to long term long term goal fulfillment with the ten of earth here you want to solidify something is the cards are telling you there's a lot going on consider being playful about how you want to go the long haul with this person don't be too rigid and straightforward with this just yet okay wow you feel like this um could be a soulmate you feel like the heavens whatever whomever whatever you believe in or if you don't believe in anything whatever universe spirit brought you guys together you feel like it was destined for you guys to meet um you feel like you're so you're weighing a choice here and a decision because you're gonna have to cut some way of existing of life of some habit that you're doing or um, something habitual that you do um, you're gonna have to really step up your work ethic in regards to maybe a relationship maybe in the past you didn't put a lot of work in you feel like okay am I gonna decide to do this or you know am I choosing this this new way of uh, existing is this relationship getting stronger is this becoming more intimate um, you're weighing this this is could be a good decision for you okay um you're weighing your options here it looks like if you decide on this person it's very good for you it says carefully weigh your options and that's what you're doing here i think it's more resting on you cancer you asking yourself can i really be in a long-term commitment can i really do this can i really go the distance okay okay so let's see how the person that you're thinking of let's see how they feel about you how does the person that cancer is thinking of 
how do they feel about cancer? Wow, Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Earth. So you want to solidify this in a big way. And they have the Ten of Cups. You make them, this is the highest level of happiness. You make them over the moon happy, over the top happy. Very nice. They could be very, um, they could be emotional. They, they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could be of a masculine energy. Not saying that they're, they're a man. They can have a lot of masculine energy within them. Um, like they, they just get things done. They're a very straightforward person. If it's a woman, if it's a man, then, you know. Um, how else does this person feel about cancer? Strength card. They feel like you're different from what or whom they dated in the past. They feel like they 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 feel like the sex is good. They feel like this could be a very intimate relationship. They feel like they could merge their life with yours. Um, whatever judgment that they may have may you know whatever judgments they made about p past lovers individuals they are no longer you know really judging a book by its cover any any longer in regards to you now um they're trying to stay strong in their own right in their own power They feel like you guys could get married, you know, later in life. These two cards flipped over. The Princess of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. They feel like you, Cancer, are very grounded. Maybe you could be, you could have a child. Or if you don't have a child, maybe this person has a child. Um, or they could be younger than you. Or, you, or yeah, they could be younger than you or you younger than them. But they feel like you are the perfect partner for them. They have the nine of pentacles. You have the ten of pentacles. They feel like, yeah, this is, um, they're ready for this, this connection. They're ready to merge their life with you. They're ready to, they feel like stability is with you. They're ready to really build on this relationship. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Queen of Earth. So you guys have um, the Queen of... So you, you feel like they're very grounded. They take care of themselves. They feel the same way about you, Cancer. You're grounded. You take care of yourself. You take care of the home. You take care of family. You're just a very practical individual you're fun to be around um you just care about yourself you care about others also um, you may be a good decision making maker um the bottom of the deck we have the queen of wands they feel like this person can feel like you're very sexy also you're very charismatic outgoing you may know a lot of people you do a lot of things you have your hands in a lot of things you don't have to be a woman you could this is um you could be a man too, but this is the energy. Remember, the queens are the doers of um, the court cards. So they feel like you're doing a lot. Like you're, you're putting yourself out there. Um, maybe this is what you do in part for your career, your job. Um, you're a people person. You, you talk to people. You're very um, sharp, very charismatic, outgoing. You could be self-employed okay and they just they, they they like everything about you i like how there's not a lot of cups cards this is the ten of cups and then the king of water it's like the perfect balance it's not too it's not overly emotional nor is it 100 percent practical and just rigid but it's like a balance here very nice um Let's see, Cancer, what do you want to tell your person? 
So this will be for cancers who actually have someone that they're dating or in a relationship with or something of that nature. Um, if you're single, then, you know, maybe this is the type of person you'll meet. Um, this could be futuristic uh, for you. This could be in your near future. Let's see, Cancer, what is it that you want to tell your person? What does Cancer want to tell their person? What is Cancer? The five of earth that maybe they're feeling a lack that you're you want to tell them that you're feeling the lack of confidence or maybe in forward movement maybe in coming together um maybe there's been some change in your finance in the yeah you know, in the financial area maybe there's just uncertain self-employment something just didn't work out or it's not working out or there's the change um, but it it could also change for the better too. So maybe cancer, you just want to tell them that you're just not feeling as confident in regards to money. The pentacles, okay? Let's see. What else do you want to tell your person, cancer? Well, you just don't have a lot of confidence. Maybe you, you, you need to, you feel like you want to tell them you, you want to make yourself look better or you want to eat better. Um... Yeah, something of that nature. Let's see. Two of Earth. Okay, yeah. You want to tell them it's a lot going on in regards to money and finances. The twos talk about uh, money, uh, work, um, a partnership. Maybe in the partnership is you going to your job, or maybe you do have your own business, and maybe there is a partner. Um, if not, this is just about, you want to tell them, Cancer, there's a lot going on monetarily. It's not that I don't have money. It's just that my money is tied up in things. You could be waiting for money. Um, maybe a large sum of money. You could be, you could want to tell them that maybe you're in some business, business deal that is not 100% favorable for you. That you're always juggle that you're juggling. It's just it's just up in the air. Wow, the the chariot. There's you, Cancer. You want to tell them, but you have it under control, and you still want to push this relationship, business partnership, whatever it may be. You want to push it forward, and um, once again, you have it under control, and there will be some. Uh, beneficial change or turn around then i say that like maybe something changed for the worst and now it's going to get better you just had to wait the sevens are about patience and waiting um now victory is coming for you and this is your card this is the cancer card the chariot I feel like you're going to have some victory in, in regards to your business your finance um how people see you is high on the horse you are living high on the hog i guess um last card for what cancer wants to tell their other person eight of water that you um you're moving away from something that just didn't fulfill you and you want something more meaningful maybe with with them this is what you're telling them cancer um you were in something you you kind of aligned yourself merged your life with another individual or business or what or business partnership whatever it could be but it's not fulfilling you it is not the ten of cups it's not yeah you're not happy with this um so you're walking away you're abandoning some other position that you took with another Or you could be telling your person um, you need to walk away for a while so that you can get yourself together. Clarify the eight of water. Yeah, two of cups. Okay. Yeah, you walked away from something that was not fulfilling. And look what you got now. I just mentioned this. 
with the eight and the two you get the ten of cups you get the highest level of happiness very nice you get the completion and happiness so you feel like this person is this is going to be a successful relationship um you feel like it's mutually beneficial it's the the hand in hand the exchange the matching of energy maybe you walked away from something that was so unfulfilling to find this the two of cups with this person yeah this is a new person they could be younger than you or you younger than them they're, they're full of life and uh, they're vibrant they're um, outgoing they're doers you know um, they could be very attractive too let's see um what your person wants to tell you cancer three of pentacles popped out i was going to put it back but it popped out so your person wants to tell you that they recognize you doing high quality value work and that you are val valuable and that they want to partner with you that um they see the value in you okay maybe they they're telling you that they don't want to be in some third party love affair either maybe that you guys have had you've had it going on for a while something about that too okay yeah look what comes out the star man and the three of swords like they don't, they're telling you look i don't want to get played i don't want to have my heart broken again i don't want this you know there's a breakdown in communication here um they feel like you could be saying or doing whatever it is you want to do or whatever it is you need to do or say to keep them in a space of um wanting to be with you they could be telling you kids that they have some legal issues um due to a divorce and, and or a separation something happened like they're rebuilding their life they could be telling you that they're just really trying to get over some heartbreak in their life and it doesn't always have to be ro romantic it could be something in regards to business or money or legal lawsuit something of that nature they're telling you like this is um they're just wanting to disclose to you that maybe they they have they're they're just really trying to rebuild here oh two two of pentacles again and the ten of pentacles you guys are just really wanting the same thing but there's not a lot of communication there's not a lot of spoken word they could be telling you that they want to choose you or they're choosing you or they want you to choose them they want you to make the decision to have a committed relationship or a long-standing relationship um something that you guys can build upon that's what they could be telling you that um they see this with you in you They could, they could see this relationship being taken to another level, a higher high. Like you guys are very well studied, well learned. They can converse with you. They feel as if you are very stable, very stern. Um, you govern well. You would be an ideal husband or wife. They feel like there's an e even give and take here. Once again, that you're the perfect person for them. But they also feel like they keep, they're keeping something from you or you're keeping something from them. They don't know exactly how you feel. About them. But they know that feelings are here. This is what they could be telling you, okay? 
Um, let's get the advice for cancer dealing with this person. Let's get some love advice. Let's see. It looks like all together, Cancer, this is a very good union. Like you guys have your own quirks to, to fix and figure out in your own separate lives. But when you guys come together, it just works. And this is very good. Um, cancer. What is Cancer's advice? What is Cancer's angel advice? The situation will improve. Yeah. Situation will improve. Wow. In the near future. For some of you, like I said, if you're single, this could be happening in the near future. If you are in a relationship now or whatever, um, it, it could be happening now or something could be happening in the near future. Um, it's up to you, Cancer. What I think it really is. Whatever you want. Not a lot of majors here. So this is like energy. Uh, you can take it or you can leave it. It looks very good. Um, I hope that is good. Wow. Romance. Ooh. Cancer. Okay. One more. Wow. Cancer. You have a yes answer. So you know. Here at the channel we clarify our yes and no answer. So we'll pull a card on that. Cancer, if you are worrying, there's no need to worry at the bottom of the deck. I think this is going to work out well for you, Cancer. You just have to believe and trust in yourself. Trust in the process. Trust in, in this person, in the, in the situation. It looks good. You both want some of the same things. If not the same thing, you, you both were pulling kind of the same cards. It's just not a lot of communication. Like You, you have to talk you, have, you can't be afraid of of actually saying what you want even if it puts you in a vulnerable vulnerable state um and vice versa this other person can't be afraid of saying what it is they want okay so we have a yes answer what's this yes answer for cancer what's the yes answer for cancer five of clubs and a nine of spades so um the five of clubs in the playing cards deck talks about new love and new marriage so yes you might marry this person there's a lot of anxiety here in regards to you taking the next step yeah but um it looks like you you want to something you have an anxiety about walking away um from a from someone you're already with or Someone you were dealing with, someone you had a lot of, you have a lot of conflict with, yeah. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, some of you just want something more meaningful. Some of you have a lot of conflict in your home. You have people living in your home. They're causing a lot of drama and conflict, and or you are that person who's doing just that. Um. Or you were living with someone where there's a lot of people in the home and there was drama and conflict. Looks like there's going to be opportunity for rest and relaxation. Some of you are sick. Some of you are going to need to rest, recuperate. Okay. Um, yes, newness is coming to you. Not without opposition or obstacle. But it's here. It could be in a form or fashion of the Queen of Spades. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's sharp. Maybe a divorcee, someone who's independent. She's attractive, but she's she's learned. She's she knows a lot. Um, she listens well, and she and she accepts everyone's opinion as as valid, but not as truth. Yeah, this could be a person you're going to start some new shape form of happiness health and wealth with wow yeah you guys just need to talk about have loving communication about what it is you want to get the two of cups again queen of diamonds um very nice ten of hearts so ten of cups again you guys want the same thing but you have to talk it out you have to 
if, if you don't say it, they don't know it. And, and vice versa. If you don't say it, if they don't say it, you don't know it. You know, so you don't want to be in the guessing game for the duration of the relationship until, you know, either one of you just gets tired and, and starts to ask questions. But see where you guys are, you know, okay? So we have keep the faith. We have body changes, okay? Very nice. Healthcare change. Some of you need health healthcare relationship dynamics. Someone has entered or exit a relationship. Someone is exiting a relationship. Someone feels completely different about a relationship for the good or for the bad. Um, someone is now examining the dynamic of this relationship because of their feelings. Wow, cancer, a windfall. So maybe a large sum of money. Good luck comes in to you. Very nice. And maybe that's what you could be waiting on. You could be telling this person, you know, things will be good, but I'm waiting for something. Memories. Okay. I think this is what keeps some of my cancers tied to individuals. Memories. You can make new ones, cancer. Um, welcome the new. Didn't I say, wow. Memories and welcome the new. Didn't I said you can make new ones and then the card... At the bottom of the deck is welcome the new. Cancer, don't live in the past forever. Okay? Um, know that your life is changing. Live in the here and the now and the present. And make decisions for uh, the change that is happening now. And not change or opposition that happened in the past. Live in the here and the now. Cancer, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. You know, let me pull some shells. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, but you can book your own reading at the website. There's the special below the 15 minute special uh, video recorded reading. If you want to take advantage of that, click that link. Um, if you want to text a question or eight to the number below, you can do so. You can pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that, okay? Uh, let's see what the shells have to say. For my cancers. All right. Okay. All right. So we have nice money. So everybody needs hard. Something is hard. Okay. And hidden. Yeah. Something is hidden. We saw that with the Seven of Swords. Maybe you're trying to do something or they're trying to do something in secret. What? What does your person want to say to you, Cancer? I only have one. Oh, kids. Maybe they have them or they want them. Friends. And magic. Maybe your person is a very magical person. Okay. All right, Cancer. I hope the reading resonated with you. If it did, um, go ahead and click that like button. Share it. Uh, thank you once again. All links are below if you want to contact me for a personal reading. Take care.